Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family, Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Wake up to this altar daily to wait on God for worship, for word and prayers. Listen to the day's Turning Point audio for meditation and receiving blessings. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. Pray more on your own, either in tongue or in your understanding. Then read the day's short Bible study from my daily devotional prayer booklet guide, also authored by me. Follow the guideline on reading the entire Bible through in a year. If you subscribe online, prayer book content shall be sent to your phone for daily engagement. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so now if you are just hearing this. Welcome also to Sunday, September 8, 2024. 8 is God's number for a new beginning. God is going to begin a new walk in your life. He will open a new chapter this September. Please open your hand and heart to receive and be responding with Amen. I receive it. I see God do a restoration work in someone's life and situation. Whatever you have lost or missed shall be fully restored. In John chapter 6, Verse 12, Jesus Christ said, Gather up the fragments, let nothing be lost. Mm. Let nothing be lost. That statement hit me. Listeners, what have you lost recently or sometimes ago? This is so strong in my spirit this night. God is said in his awesome power to give back to you whatever you have lost. What is it or what are they? Time, opportunities, space, Status, shop, office, a job, a position, a relationship, connection, health, peaceful night's sleep, peace of mind, strength, libido. Just what have you lost? What have been fraudulently or forcefully taken away from you or from members of your family? Property, money, contract, document. As I'm calling these things, be mentioning what you can remember. That you lost quietly to God. Be mentioning them. Your losses. Tell them to God. What is it? What are they? Anointing. Power of the Holy Ghost. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Divine fire. Prayer power. Mention them all. Spiritual, physical, material, and financial. You lost a loved one. Lost a pregnancy. Oh Lord, I'm hearing. Let nothing be lost. Let nothing be lost. Now. Let me pray. By your divine power and mercy, O Lord, let your children get it back. You will get it back. If the lost axe head can swim back to the water surface to be picked up, God shall break protocols, suspend all laws of nature, disturb kings and the powerful to get your things back to you. In 72 hours, someone, in 48 hours, another, In 24 hours, you will hear good news. You will smile, you will laugh, and you will shout a shout of joy. Now, let's do this. If you can, someone give a shout. Hey! As much as possible where you are, give another shout of hallelujah. Hallelujah! I prophesy. Shout of praise shall continually be heard in your camp, in your house, and in your family. In Jesus' name. That's right. It's done. If you will be in church today, after the church service, walk up to your pastor or your priest or one of the pastors, maybe not the most senior pastor, one of the respected elders, deacons or deaconess, an HOD, an officer, one of the persons you respect in church, and just say to him or her, say a word to my life. God shall put a word in his or her mouth for you. Something will shift. If you will not be in church, then call on one of the prayer line pastors or send a chat to say, say a word to my life, sir. And you can also call a man or a woman of God you know and you respect on phone and say, say a word to my life, sir. I speak as I am inspired by the Holy Spirit of God. Follow divine instructions you will have sweet testimonies, right? September 8 bomb people, 
your bad day prayers. May God bless your bad day. May he pour fresh oil on you. May he add days to your years and years to your days. In Jesus' name. Happy bad day. Listeners, this is the seventh and the last day of our seven days of prophetic healing prayers. From tomorrow, it shall be a week of intensive personal prayers. I will lead you each day on what to pray and how to pray. I trust that God's great testimonies, mighty testimonies, shall erupt from this one week of prophetic healing prayers. Today, God wants to heal emotion, emotional issues. Someone is emotionally stressed and disturbed. You feel somehow it's like you are uncoordinated. It's like you are losing control. You are disturbed in your mind and you are troubled. Hold your head with your two hands if you can. And if you can't, just lay hand on your chest, on your heart. And let me pray. I prophesy, peace be still. Peace be still. May God intervene for you at the source of your trouble and disturbance. Receive your peace of mind back. Receive peace in your soul and in your body. In Jesus' name. Then, failing eyesight. Your eyesight is failing, is weak. You can't see clearly as before. Even to recognize a person walking towards you is difficult until they come so near. Someone reading your messages on phone or even reading your Bible is now a struggle. No. Lay your hand on your eyes, on your face. I prophesy clarity. I prophesy wellness. May your eye component, your eye structure receive strength now. All your eye cells receive divine touch now. Be healed in the eyes in Jesus' name. After this prayer, go wash your eyes with water. Add a little of the blessed water. You shall start seeing well. Someone is due for surgery. Doctors have said it has to be surgery and you are afraid. Reject that fear. Anoint yourself. Take along with your mantle on the day. Call on one of the prayer pastors to pray for you a day to the time. It shall be highly successful. There shall be no complications or side effects. God do heal supernaturally without medical aid. And sometimes he allows medical assistance. Doctors are agents in God's hand. Give your testimony. When you return, you shall surely come back in peace. Who is this pregnant woman? The last can indicated that your baby was not sitting well for delivery. And your EDD is near. The baby needs to turn and the placenta needs to be in the right place. Lay your hands on your tummy. The two hands. I speak to the baby in you. Baby, turn right. Let the baby hear my voice. Let the phone get so cl uh, close and loud to your tummy. Baby, turn and turn correctly. Placenta, move to the right place. The day of your delivery shall be easy and simple without struggle or stress. All other pregnant women, whether your EDD is near or not, touch your tummy. I pronounce power. The remaining days of this pregnancy shall be stress and struggle free. No premature delivery, no miscarriage, no stillbirth, normal delivery. Mother and baby or babies alive in Jesus' name. Put a good patrol seat monthly behind this pregnancy until delivery if you can. All listeners, any pain at all in any part of your body, lay hand there and let me pray. Be healed. I say, be healed. All afflictions and discomfort go and return no more in Jesus' name. Say, I am healed. Say it again. Say, I am healed. Yes, you are. A great work has been done this one week of prophetic healing prayers. Please send your testimonies as you start seeing changes. And we broadcast this to all on your contact. Let them also hear this prayer work release their faith, and be healed. Join us online and on ground, if you can, in our two services today, 7.30 to 9.30 a.m., two hours. Second service, 9.30 to 11.30 a.m., two hours. You can watch live or watch later via our YouTube or Facebook platform. But please don't miss it. Hope you are praying for me and the TPG family. Please, if you are the type that wakes up middle of the night, 
to the loo, to we, as we return back to bed. Just in a sentence, say, oh God, bless your son and your servant, Pastor Femi Emmanuel, and bless TPGF in Jesus' name. It's enough. It's all right. And do it regularly. It is well. Thank you for praying for me also. Month has ended eight days ago. So if you are a monthly titan, personal and business net profit titan, that's what we also call corporate titan. Do so without fail and without delay. Don't compromise on titan for self and your business outfit. Also, back to Thanksgiving, partnership commitment seed, and the seed of 999, we are showing this ninth month of the year, the seed of September to remember. Many people are doing it. I have always been, I've been saying 99,999, 99, 99, 99 cobalt, 9,999, 99, 99 cobalt, and so on and so forth. Do yours as God lays in your heart. All our members, TPGF members, all over the world, wherever you are in the part, any part of the world, do it in your currency. Use the PayPal account or the HSBC account if you are in, in UK. Now, if you want us to send you the commission's account and the PayPal detail, send an SMS or a chat, or please send me the commission's account to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. If you are in the UK and we have an HSBC account, Turning Point Global account, yeah, the HSBC. If you do yours in pan sterling, pay it directly to the HSBC account. It saves us a lot of money on commissions and all the other charges. Do it. Many are already doing it, and I pray for you by the day. The account detail for the HSBC account in UK sent a chat message to 074 one 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 two eight four zero one. Do so, and the Lord continue to bless you. I speak to the life of TPGF members and listeners across the world. You will flourish where you are. The light of God will dawn on you. It does not matter what is happening around you, economically, in the area of security, wherever you are, light will shine on you. God will protect you, uphold you, project you, you and everyone connected to you. What God cannot do does not exist, for God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm family Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF, answer, truly blessed. Bye.